Hello guys, in this project we will build it together Paul's application as you see here like in YouTube So here in our diagram user will create a new poll with number of options here as you see here For example, what's your favorite color? Here's our title of the poll and here's our options and as units here the total votes and when will this poll finish and also the percentage of each option, right? Also, we have some notes here. User will create a new poll, so we need authenticated user. And poll must have at least two options. And also must have start and date time. But when the polls start here or created, started maybe, it will not be changeable. Right? So let's start. Here in my project, I have created a fresh larva project, PHP Artisan About. And here is my application version 9.42. Go to our .m file. My database is poll here, mbt database. And I will install Laravel Prez as a scaffold. Laravel Prez here, Prez. Starter kit here. And using Composer, I will install it, right? then install please after that migrations and then which we are to some migrate then npm install and npm run dev npm i and npm dev all right now it's created back to our application again here refresh and we have login and register buttons I have no users, so I will register here. Ahmed, Ahmed at mail.com, password, password, enter now. I am authenticated. Right. Here I have created a new plaid for creating a new poll, and also I created new endpoint. So here in my create blade.php, I am using here home layout. Here is our home layout and I am using materialize CSS framework this framework here materialize this one right and I used Alpine JavaScript to do some dynamically in my application and then in our create here this one impulse create view I am using this home blade or home layout and I created these fields right title start at end at and start times and also end times and if i back again to my web here and root prefix poll and the middleware user must be authenticated to create a new poll group here function my root view you can learn about it from here create and my view here this one polls dot create right so here back and test in our application polls create right and as you see here new poll title start date from the framework start time in which hour the same thing here end date and end time right and the options here these options for example how many options we want to have for example i will add a new title what is your favorite color right here color and option one red green and if you want to add more you can add option here blue you can remove also an option and I used Alpine JS to do that I will explain it here in my create.blade I initialized here this one X data if you want to learn Alpine JS this one Alpine JS here 
I initialize a new component here x data and I set the minimum options number to 2 right and when user click on add option button this add option or options number property will increase by 1 right and when user click remove it will reduce by 1 but back again here right if I try to remove I will get this alert ball must has at least two options right if I have more than two I can remove them easily but if I have only two it's not possible to remove one of them right because here is our our rule pull must has at least two options and here is also our names or keys title start date start time st end date and end time also for our options it's array because it's multiple values right so let's create our controller and implement creating options here so here php artisan make controller and pull controller and we need also to create our models so php artisan make model pull artisan now open our pull model here in our models and each user has many polls right so function polls here and the return this has many option or sorry poll right class and for each poll here each poll has multiple options so also we need to create our options model back again here php artisan make model option hyphen m because i i want also to create migrations and also i will create a table or migration for polls here php artisan make migration create polls table create equal to polls all right and for our poll here we now we have options poll and users models so here function options return has many because each model or each poll has multiple options has many option class and it's create the reverse relation belongs to here for options function poll and the return belongs to this one to many relationship belongs to poll class all right let's create our tables so back to our polls table here it will has table string title and table foreign id user id or created by created by and the constraint will reference to users and id by default right and we have also table date time column start at for example this date like this and the same thing for end at here end at another column here is status so it will be enum status so user may schedule to start in the future here status and and let's create our enum for status of polls inside our apps here enum enums poll status dot php 
and here's our PHP our namespace and enum pull status 12b string and we have two or three status the first one case pending will start in the future equal to pending second one started third is finished right and here's our instead of states to be enum and second the parameter will be our array of these values right pending started finished here and array column array column pull status pull status cases and value here I get all values as array you can watch this video also to understand this part right and back again to our options table or options migration here and table it has relationship also with poll poll id constraint and also table it has vote counts unsigned because it may it may be selected by multiple users unsigned big integer votes count it will be increased or decreased and the default is zero right now back to our database refresh we have basic tables and let's run php artisan migrate we have an error here pulse table difference yeah we have this error because pulse table must be created first before options table if you back here you you see the order of these of these migrations so we may need to add small change here to update this file name for example right here seven or even add all the data here 21 here now try again we have another one options already so migrate fresh fresh and it's created back to our database here is our users polls and options let's look at schema for an id with polls also polls has for an id with users here created by and date time and users also now let's implement our controller back again to our vs code and close each of these windows and here is our poll controller right so we need first to store polls function store and request request and code will, will be here so we need to create a new request php artisan make request create poll request right and instead of request here we will use create poll request remove this line back to our poll request and also here we need to make it true and back to our view here we have title start date and start time if you see we will concatenate them together and the same thing for end date and end time so here prepare prepare for validation you will use this method before entering two rules here and let's die and dump our data this all right let's fill our data and fill them quickly but here we must also add our action to our form back to our blade again here and let's create our endpoint first inside web 
so root post create right and name will be poll.store back to our view and don't forget to use at csrf and our method is post method equal to post and action equal to here root poll dot store right add semicolon poll dot store make sure it's correct yeah and it works now back again refill quickly and yeah as you see here we have our token we have also title here we have start date start time end date end time and we need to concatenate them together and create new key called start at right and also we have options as array as you see here so back again to our request here and i will add here title is required array required and it must be string right start at must be required also array required date and it must be before or after or equal now the time and end at here and at it must be after start at right so instead of now we can use start at so in that must be after start at field right let's concatenate our data here so we will use this merge firstly created by created by column created by will equal to current authenticated user right and here start at we will use carbon class to parse this value here so this start date right plus because the, both of them are strings or dot this start time and the same thing and add and add and instead of start we will use end right back again die and dump this all refresh and as you see here we have our data what's your name and also start at and end at but if you notice here it's carbon object right so we need to convert them to strings using to date time string date time string and the same thing also for end at to date time string right refresh again and as you see here we converted or concatenated them together to create this date time format all right that's great back to our controller again and let's die and dump everything works correctly request validated dated and now we have our data but if you see here we don't have created at column because instead of setting it here in our prepare for for validation we can use the relationship in our user model here user has multiple or has many polls so we can use this here os user here polls right and create request validated request 
validated then return created for example or return back here back refresh and we have an error create has one or many must be array validated yeah must add method refresh again and we must add mass assign to our pull here guarded guarded will be null refresh again and we have another error user id in field yeah so we must define our foreign key because you know in laravel it will detect automatically that polls has user id as a foreign key but in our case here our foreign key is created by so as a second parameter here in polls method inside user model we will use here created by right back again and refresh back again polls data and here we have our data right another thing if you notice here our status is by default is pending because if we go to our poll status here the first one is pending but if you want to define it in our model or in our migration you can say default here default is poll status pending value as you see here also if you notice here if we go to our options we don't have any options created right we have poll but we don't have options right let me remove it now let's create them firstly we need to add them in our validation here here is our options and required array right and minimum must be two right to make controller that each poll must have or must has at least two options back to our controller here and let's format them options equal to empty array because if we die and dump options here right or request option request options let's create a new one here refresh also we must add accept because validated includes options also but we don't have options field inside polls table so we can use save method here save accept options back again and refresh it's created and now we have our options here if we back again to our option we need also to add, to add a column called name or title or content to check the content here so back to our code options and we will add also string i forget about it table string content right migrate fresh back again and we must log in and i will log in with my email and password back to our create poll endpoint and let's create a new one by the way here in my controller i added dd for options right so create and as you see here here is our options and back to our database poll created options not created and if you notice here we added content column here so we need to format these values to assign to content column so we can do something like that in our create and for each option add content here right and in our option model we will use guarded to fill it without 
errors back again refresh fill again and as you see here the difference content first of all array here main array and it contains nested arrays with content key for each value right back again to our controller and here for this poll options relationship because in our poll model here we have relationship has many with options right and we can use create mini right create mini do works like that here array and arrays of objects here content and value right so instead of that we have actually the same array here so we can pass directly our request options refresh again and now it works back to our database refresh options we have options and we have ball number three id three here this one and also created by user id one here is about this part we created our poll in the next part we will perform the voting process support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next video